and it looks like it has crossed the street and now it has slowed down. How long might they linger at 9 feet and 12 feet? So at, at 9 feet, uh, they, they could linger for, provided it's still there, two to three minutes, okay? But the, it, the concentration is less than what it would be, let's say, six feet by about a factor of eight. The professors say the droplets become less dense the further they travel, but they still hang in the air, still with the ability to carry disease. And watch this. Even when we put a simple mask on the dummy, particles still dispersed from the sides of the mask, so they didn't travel very far. Certainly, if you're not wearing a mask, you're supposed to cough into your elbow. But if you cough into your hand, this is what happens. Let's turn out the lights. I'll put my hand up against the mouth of this dummy and simulate a cough. You can see the droplets spray in all directions. They may not travel as far, maybe about three feet or so, but they spray everywhere. And they can linger in the air, possibly for as long as three minutes. Intensity of the cough matters, so we tested a gentle cough too. The lighter cough didn't go very far at all, about three feet. But the question remains, how close is too close. Do you think, based on what you've seen in your own lab, that six feet is enough for social distancing? Six feet is, is a minimum distance that you should keep. It seems that... But further is better. Further is better. So we shot that story.